Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. If you guys have a Chevy Cruze and your horn doesn't work, guys, we're going to cover the top three reasons, guys, why your horn on the steering wheel doesn't work. Quick introduction, guys. We will have more than 200 videos on Chevy Cruze, guys, and more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please, guys, subscribe to the channel and like the video. We hope that you guys find the information helpful and it will help you guys uh, guide you in the right way to fix the problem on your own that way you can save money if you guys need any tools or parts check out the link and see where we get our tools and parts from for a good price fast shipping guys you can find anything there so we have got the, that Chevy Cruze 2015 but it should be the same procedure for the whole generation and uh, the horn doesn't work guys okay let me go ahead I'll go inside and I want to show you guys how that horn doesn't work at all no matter what you do, and we're going to cover the top three reasons for the horn not to work. Okay, ignition switch on. Nothing. So, what can cause that now, guys? Okay, the horn, it's a switch inside. So, there is one switch that when you press it, okay, you can kind of feel it, and it's going to activate it. So, it could be a loose connection, the wires on the back, but you have to remove the airbag. That's a dangerous job. We have the video on the channel how to do that, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you're qualified and certified. But this is not a very common thing to go out. Okay, usually the switch is not so bad. Now, uh, part of the, I'll, I'll put that under reason number one, too, could be a quark spring. The quark spring is the device that sends the signal, okay, from all the buttons on the steering wheel and the airbag to the steering cowl. Because you know you turn your steering wheel left and right and that uh, without that cork spring the wires will just break so that's a device that transfers the signal and that could go bad but usually usually if it goes bad uh, your steering wheel buttons may quit as well so it really depends you may get an airbag light on as well that doesn't happen very often one of the most common things guys is a fuse and we'll show you where the fuse is located third one guys the horn itself if you let's say replace the fuse okay and the horn is still not working check the connection going to the horn okay we have the video on the channel how to remove it and how to replace it and where it's located as well it's under the bumper so check it out if you need help with that and if you guys check the connection okay and everything's fine fuse is fine we have a video guys that explains how to test the horn by removing it and it's super simple all you need is a 12 volt car battery so we'll go ahead and show you what the problem is with ours it's just a burn fuse okay for my guess being too nervous and using it too much so the fuse that we're talking about okay it's that fuse right here guys fuse number 51 if you want to buy fuses check out the link uh, this is the fuse for the horn so we replaced ours already and i'm going to go inside and see if that takes care of the problem and if not check out the video how to test the horn we have it on the channel on chevy cruise guys or any vehicle it's the same pretty much so listen now so that definitely takes care of the problem thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time